All right, let's take a look at crude here this morning. What you can do is, is you can apply the symmetry dots. You can apply the symmetry dots to your chart on the five sim Rinko. The symmetry dots, I originally um, programmed the symmetry dots to scale contracts, but they provide really great support and resistance. So we blow this up so you can see real close what I'm talking about. So what you want to do is you have a, I make mine red, and then I make mine cyan so I can see them a little bit better. You can make them any color you want. But you'll notice they create natural support and resistance with overall trend retracements. Now, I like to put them on the 5 sim for support and resistance. So what I like to do is, is if we're in an uptrend, you'll see this today. You'll see a lot of setups again today with the volatility we're going to get. If we're in a 9 sim uptrend and the 5 sim agrees, then what I'm trying to do is I'm looking for a pullback to these symmetry dots within a couple ticks. If I get a pullback, I'm going to look for an arrow to fire on the 5 or 3 sim right at this level for a trade setup. This is yesterday's buy setup. Today we had a sell. I'll show you in a second. It's just got to come within a couple ticks. I don't want it 4, 5, 6 ticks away. It should be within a couple ticks. So when you look at it, you look at the low, the symmetry dots were 66.21, and the low was 66.22 on this bar, on this spinning top. That's within one tick. That's a beautiful setup. Same here, the sell setup. We're in a downtrend, sell the symmetry dots. So you can use the symmetry dots to really position yourself in big trades. And some of these, they'll catch some big ones. This was a huge one right here. Real big trade, uptrend, came right down to it. It tested to the exact tick, and we fired right on it. It gives you a nice spot to look for. Now, what happens sometimes on these symmetry dots is a 3 sim will be crossed up, and it'll touch the 5 sim. And the arrow will fire on the three here. So if an arrow fires on the three touching the five sim symmetry dots, I would take that trade right there too. It catches a lot of counter waves, the three sim. And it'll, it'll cross up before the five will, and you'll get a nice trade like that also. So look at these explosive trades. Really, really nice. A sell will look the opposite. I'll show you what a sell looks like. The cool thing using symmetry like this, it gives you targets for where the arrow should fire. So you're in a downtrend, you come back up, and you're allowed to exceed it by the bar, intra-bar. You're allowed to exceed it intra-bar. What I don't like to see is a couple closes outside of symmetry, meaning not the highs and the lows of the bar. I don't care if it exceeds it intra-bar. What I don't want to see happen is if I see a whole body candle close a couple outside of it, then that's going to be a lower probability arrow. Like if you look over here, the market straddled it. You're allowed to straddle the body of the candle, the open versus closed, can straddle symmetry so you know it can continue. And then she gets an arrow, she takes off again. What I don't like to see is I don't like to see it close, body candle close, body candle close, and then get an arrow. I like to see symmetry hold. Consequently, you can trade it as a momentum indicator, and here's how I do it. Let's say we're in a hard downtrend like crude right here. I'll show you when I like to take my three sim setups, my shorter uh, Rinko bar. If I, if I see a whole body candle close here, we had a couple big ones last week in crude, over $800 trades doing this on the three sim. If you look at the body of the candle right here, close below symmetry, on the buy side. Now we wouldn't look for a buy symmetry, we look for a sell because we're in a downtrend. But if it closes, a body candle close below that, that means we broke the symmetry of the market. So what I want to do, I want to look for three sim sell, sell setups. And what will happen is your three sim will typically fire, they'll cross down and a sell setup will happen right around this area, right around this area where you can get a momentum play to the downside. And that happens a lot. You'll see that happen a lot. You'll see that happen today with the volatility we're going to get. How the 3 sim will fire, the 5 will break at symmetry. 
degree symbol fire. So today what we had is we had a what? If we look at today, we had a symmetry cell. If you noticed, the symmetry has called the market in crude today again. If you notice here, this is a buy setup earlier in the session, right here, because we're in an uptrend. Never close the body candle close. Here again, look out straddles, straddles, straddled symmetry. There you go. Then it came up and got a sell signal up here to start rolling the market down. We broke through symmetry now for the first time on a buy side. And that gave us an idea to sell the retracement on symmetry next. I did a beautiful reversal bar up here with negative market delta. This is our last sell in crude. There's your last sell. So you can use the symmetry of the market, and I like to do them on the 5 sim. The reason I don't put them on the 3 sim with arrows is the 5 sim is more accurate. And I can usually use that for targets on where I should be looking for arrows on retracements. Okay? The 3 sim, however, you can use for targets. Scales first, set of symmetry, and hard trend days, I like to go for the second, third set of symmetry. So that's how we do the symmetry dots. I want to make sure you guys understood how to do that. It's a really neat way to get into the market because this last sell is a beauty this morning. Not only was I hitting market profile sell, right here, I'm hitting symmetry sell also with a nice reversal bar. So that's a nice little setup we had this morning so far. Okay?